Sorry guys, it's a little smoky down here. Happy to see you back here in the recovery basement. We've uh, been doing some renovations as you can see. It's been a long three weeks, so you know, get a little bored, get to, get to doing some building. I'm pretty happy with the result. If you've never seen one before, that's just a time machine back there. I've been thinking about building one for quite a while, but now that I finally have some downtime, got some surgery action going on, I've had time to do some research. Break into the books. Didn't actually end up being too complex of a project, but it's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Yeah, I decided to bring you down here today just so we could test it out for the first time. I haven't actually done the trial run. Everything should be good to go. Yeah, I figured we could test this baby out and go back to 2019 to explore a little story that I never really fully put out there. The story when Mr. Aaron Simone and I decided to take a quick little trip across the Atlantic Ocean to go explore the European continent and maybe hit an extreme contest or two along the way. I already kind of started the procedure, so we gotta, we gotta get going. Ignore the very uh, lackluster intro. We're out, though. Yeah, hello. How's it going, everybody? I'm just out here with my old friend, Lewis. Your, your junior associate. My junior associate, Lewis, and Aaron is back there, in double, double fisting. And Smoothies. we're just really calmly making our way to the airport a couple hours late, just for an international flight to Spain. Yeah, we're in passport mode, Lewis. We may or may not, <laughs> we may or may not actually make. I mean, and then when we get to Spain, we don't have anywhere to stay, so. We're gonna sleep on the beach. Yeah, it should be all right. I'm pretty calm right now. I'm just out here chilling. Shoot this guy. Don't, don't have a... Uh, You've got this guy. I have the sports mode, no paddle shifter, so. Yeah, so he just, <laughs> he just knocks it into sport mode when it feels like going fast. But yeah, we're in a Honda Accord and we're going to uh, another country, hopefully today. I don't know. We'll see it at the airport, maybe. I'm stressed. They don't know if they're going to let us on or not. <laughs> like, we're, we were late, but there's a delay because of some lightning. So we might. So one of us might get on this flight. Yeah. One, We're two, doing three. one, two, three, shoot, two out of three. Yeah. One, one two, two, three, shoot. shoot. Two out of three. <laughs> one, two, three, shoot. You had them! Are we in? You had them. What the heck, man? It's not good. It's not supposed to rain in Spain. It's, uh, it's not supposed to rain on vacation. I still can't really believe we made it. That was chaotic. Yeah, this is good for my KHEs. I thought Aaron was going through some like bus stuff, but uh, <laughs> he's just swiping on Tinder this whole time. I'm trying to secure us a place to stay for the <laughs> evening. I kind of am doing my part, but I'm not from here, dog. I'm not from here. Do your part. This spot is sick because what you doing? I wasn't expecting you to talk. <laughs> Aaron's just a natural vlogger. So we successfully made it to Barcelona. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a clip blackout at this time. Aaron and I did plenty of wandering around. We looked at all the fancy architecture. We were staying in the Gothic district. We made a mission to the sea walls. Unfortunately, they were closed. <laughs> it was pretty much a disaster. Then all the way on our last day, it finally cleared up. Everything was great. Pedaled down the beach like 10 or 15 miles to ride some huge dirt jumps at this place called La Poma. And I was so hyped after being like cooped up for so long in the rain. Pedaled all the way there. It was a couple hour journey on the BMX bikes. The bike park is at the top of like a big hill mountain type thing. So we were at the bottom when we stopped at a McDonald's to get food before we went in the road. Sitting outside at McDonald's just chilling. And I swear it was like I was at a TV show or something. We were enjoying our food. I said to Aaron, gosh, I am so happy that we finally got a nice day. This is so perfect. Literally 10 seconds later, Complete downpour. <laughs> it poured for like 30 minutes. La Poma closed, and I was so unbelievably mad that I pedaled all the way back to Barcelona and Aaron took the train. But our next stop was all the way in France, in Montpellier. You might have heard of it, there's a small contest called Feast that goes on over there, and uh, we made the journey, and here's straight into day one. Spencer should be out here, they're doing some parkour events. I heard he's been training in secret. He should make an appearance here. He's kind of the favorite for the win, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've made it. It's gonna be loud. We're here. They didn't really give us many seating options. Yeah, they did in fact change it to just practice today, which is, I needed that. 
First practice did not go well. I kind of got stuck in my head and uh, I only dropped in like five times. There's some heavy hitters here and I forgot how good everyone is. But I'm not going to compare myself to anyone else. I'm going to go do my runs, try and get used to the ramps and uh, see what happens. You guys remember him from Florida? <laughs> yeah. Mr. The Albatross 402. I hired him for my contest filming. You saw him in Florida in Oviedo. Yeah, I fly all the way out from France just to film for Jay. I'm actually not riding this event. I mean, I'm just here just to film Jay. Yeah, his personal designated filmer for the event. Well, I flew him out. You know, YouTube is just popping, so and I can pick and choose my film. Hashtag revenue, am I right, Jay? Yeah, hashtag revenue. I'm gonna get the fire angles. You know, hashtag content. All the hashtags. Trendy. <laughs> all the Very hashtags. Trendy. Mr. Jay Dolan coming in. Ooh, Jay 360. Whoa, back for first jump of the day, peace training. Oh, where's he going? Coming up with some speed. Oh, we're not big manual to no footer, oh. slow down. I'm scared to jump into this stupid thing. Next round. These ramps are no joke. I'm uh, Just look at this. How tall would you say this quarter is? This is a 10, but everything is this big. I don't know, man. <laughs> it feels I'm like work, the front ramp. I'm working it in. I'm actually dropping it. Yeah, yeah, good for you, man. Keep doing, keep doing your thing. Yeah, sure. All right, bye, see ya, whatever. I'm sorry this is boring. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Hey, yeah, do not worry, bro. You got the other riders getting quality content for you for free. Oh, yeah, it's true, it's true. That's really what I came here for. <laughs> you just came here for the revenue? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Huh? Say hey to Jay Dalton. Hey. I love your sister. <laughs> For whatever it is. Yo, is this a height contest or what? Yep. Height contest. Who's gonna smoke more? <laughs> Jay is. Jesus. So high. <laughs> Rita Meyer, Mr. Netherlands. Whoa! <laughs> oh my. Alrighty, I'm not sure what Nick got, but that was practice. I started loosening up at the end doing my tricks, but I'm all... I pieced together about a quarter of a run so far. I gotta do some, some brainstorming on paper. So far, so good. I'm gonna see uh, if anyone else is doing anything fancy, I'm gonna get it. But other than that, I'm chilling. Alrighty, by a short little intermission, I got some Subway and some cookies to treat myself. We are legit now. I'm gonna try and get up into the VIP area. I jumped through some hoops for this. I'm, I'm used to the riders being able to go wherever they want. Aha, uh -huh, we're in. I've infiltrated the place where I feel like I should be able to go because I'm a rider. Risking my life for this. But that's whatever, I made it in. Now I'll get you guys the stunts, even though it's still qualifying, I don't want to burn you out. This isn't exactly what I was expecting. Stuck behind this freaking barrier. But just look at the freaking scale of this place, dude. That's a kid. There's people all along the bank. There's stuff all the way down the river. I think that's skating, scootering down farther. This is an operation. I don't really know if I'm going to get any sick angles from here though. Just a photographer, press pass, you know me. Nerds. Stretching is a <laughs> man. freaking nerd over there. Nerds. Warming up. What, what is he doing? You're supposed to warm up on the way here. Get some rails. <laughs> Let's just smoke a bunch of freaking weed. <laughs> some behind the scenes action. Yo. One. Two. Oh, wow. It's basically gonna be my run right there. It's really unbelievable I can do that on the fly. I don't know, like, yeah. just comes with years of experience, I guess, I don't know. I'm in. Him. No, number one vlogger over here. I like him. Oh my god. Yo, I wonder if they can, like, <laughs> they can? Hey, Ryan. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> Silas got a bit of a bigger lens. It's whatever, you know. <laughs> I snuck into the heavy hitter practice. We got a lot of energy drink heads. A lot of monster energy. Monster actually, energy. actually, there's not that many, is there? Justin? Oh my god. Justin's holding it now. Oh, he's coming across. Ah. Justin Duel. Rim Nakamura. Yeah, it's pretty high. It's alright. 
Yeah, he looked pretty high. Oh. And then my favorite rider. I feel like he's full off. Never mind. Favorite rider coming in. Oh, that was beautiful. I've never seen him ride in person. James Jones? James Jones is a beast. He is. Oh! Oh! I thought they were going to run into him. <laughs> That's why I screamed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I screamed. Oh! oh! Jesus! Jesus is the correct term. <laughs> yeah. Jesus is the correct term. Oh, there goes. Oh, Logan scared me, brother. I was hitting this guy. Oh! oh! Alright, before all the chaos, I was saying I was waiting for another James Flair's this corner insane. Yo! Oh! <laughs> 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 it off of Flair Bar. Number one Vans rider. Look at that line. <laughs> Trying to capture the rare Logan mistakes. It's a hard job out here, being a press guy. Oh! Ah, Nick Bruce. He's arrived. Oh. God, that is crazy. That centerpiece is so weird and you can't tell from this angle. It's like a super mellow four and a half foot, five foot up top and then it just drops straight into like a vert ten foot. Super intimidating. And there's three down with and down it. Oh. Damn, Rim. Rim. Psycho. That was alright. Right when I stopped recording Jake, he popped a freaking eight foot front flare and sprocket cased it. Perfect J execution. Jake is the front flare guy, but I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. See how he did. Beast biker. Beast biker? I thought we had three runs, dude. Oh. I only had two. I didn't get to do like some stuff I wanted to do. It's I didn't get best to... of two runs, dog. I didn't get to do the Vans BMX Pro Cup. What were you gonna do? The cable? I was gonna haul ass at the back of that spine and just like oh. try. But it, well, was... if you made it through, you could you could Vans Pro Cup it there. Wait on it. Wow. We're about to see something. Expert. My filmer's out there. I don't even know. Victory. Hold on. Holy shoot. Alright, 
right foot guy. What is happening? I don't know what that was. Is it the front flip? I didn't get the First landing. Run. Like he disappeared under the wall. Oh. What's up guys? I need to work on my cardio. Uh, <laughs> Dragon Santa, if you're out there, please teach me the ways of bodybuilding at Woodward Gym. He doesn't know how to do cardio. Oh, just just yeah. getting swole? Yeah. Well, recruit someone for me, Jay. Yeah, that was my, I flew Thank my you. filmer out for this, but you know, he rides, he just figured he'd try to ride too. Yeah, you know, I just took a rabbit run. That was actually me and the Heineken thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was me, yeah. It was yeah. good, it was a good job. Yeah, but yeah, now I'm gonna go to dirt. I can't record anymore. Okay, anywhere. good luck. See you at dirt, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty. Going back to the house, gonna drop my bike off. Dirt jump time. Oh my people. We'll be in there eventually. Alright, 20 minutes later, we've made it in. It's currently 9 o'clock and it's super bright out and the jumps are going down. It's a little loud out here, but oh my god, people are gonna send it. That's all she wrote. Yes, if we're a good little train. I'm gonna go to sleep now so I can qualify tomorrow. Stay tuned. Well, I thought it was over. There's people standing on electrical boxes and I don't know what's happening. There's gonna be so many fucking people on this tram. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. You gotta get in the front of the front. Well guys, I hate to break it to you, the time machine's gonna have to spit us out there because that's all that was on the computer. Probably the main reason why you never saw any of this footage. It's very incomplete. The day after that dirt contest was the qualifying and the whole event for the park. It was bright and early at 9 a.m. and I had, you know, a certain somebody planned to come record it, you know, and uh, keep the story going. But, you know, this person, he, we're not gonna name any names here, but he may have been along, along for the ride on the trip with me. Uh, he did a little side mission after that dirt contest. May have uh, not woken up in the morning, and I was all alone. 
all alone for my qualifying. They didn't have a live stream going and I didn't want to ask anybody else because everyone's so focused on themselves for good reason. But I went out there, I actually came up with a pretty darn good run for my standards. It wasn't like a top 12 win in the event kind of run, but it was good enough, I think, to get me into the semifinals which uh, I would have been very happy with. So, so first run went really well, very smooth, did some cool stuff. Don't quite remember what happened. There were some flares, there were some stunt loops. It was a pretty darn good run. Full minute, everything was good. Second run went out. I was just gonna do the, pretty much the exact same thing because in qualifying, they judge really harshly on mistakes. Like if you slip a foot, you're done. It's game over. Second run, I made it pretty much 40 seconds in, did everything I wanted to do. And then I went to do a finger whip up the step up I got a gust of wind, so I decided to just do a super seat, which uh, was might have been actually been a worse thing. <laughs> so it was a nice side wind, it caught my super seat, and then everything was just, I was not set up to land. Landed sideways, rolled out, and, and that was the end of my, my French contest journey. I was definitely pretty bummed at the moment because I had high hopes for myself, but did not qualify. Finished like 42nd or something. Wasn't hyped on it, so I stashed the footage away forever. But on the bright side, there was a lot more to this European adventure. After this, I went over to Italy and stayed with my friend Alessandro, and we got up to some, some pretty awesome stuff. I'll link in the top right, I put a little playlist of the European adventure, because it was a long time ago. There's like five videos. Went to Italy, we went to Germany, there was another France contest. A lot of cool stuff, so if you have some time and you want to follow the adventure a little farther, it's up there. I'll also link it at the end of the video in a card. But I'm going to leave you with that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming on the Time Machine ride with me. I wish I had a little more stunt biking in there, but you know, it is what it is. The story's out there, though. It's a nice little mellow ride. I've got another dirt bike video coming for you at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, as usual, this Friday. Fun track video with me and Brad. It's actually the first ride day down in Florida when we first got there in, like, November or something. That's coming out Friday. I'll see you then. Goodbye.